Welcome back to the channel. With AGV releasing their brand new K3 helmet, and this is an all new helmet right from the ground up, we thought we'd take it out and give it a little test and see what we thought of it. I'm up here today, up on the Cat and Fiddle Road near Macclesfield, testing out the new AGV K3 helmet. The biggest improvement AGV have made with this helmet is the visor seal. So the seal on this now is very similar to that that you find on the AGV K6 helmets. It's a hollow, very soft hollow rubber seal. The AGV K3 now comes with three different shell sizes. The outer shell is a uh, high resistance thermoplastic and it is now 2206 certified. We've also got now completely new design of vents. So this front vent, slight change to the way the mechanism works. The old one, it used to be a lever inside, which obviously you put in a, if you've been riding in the rain, you've got your gloves have got wet, you'd be putting your glove inside the helmet to pull that down and open the vent, which you wouldn't want. So they've moved this switch to the outside. So oh, this is the other way around. So you need to just make sure you know that. Otherwise you're going to be wondering why you're missing up on a cold, wet day. It's up to open on this helmet, but there's a whole new vent on the front here. We've also got two vents on the top, which are very easy to open and close. So that's closed, that's open. This now comes with a Max Vision visor. Uh, there is a pin lock included in the box that can be inserted into the back of the visor and it's recessed. So it's an easy installation and you can know that it's, uh, it's inserted into the correct position. It's also an ultra vision visor with 190 degree field of view. And we've also got a flip down internal visor, which AGV have done on a few of their helmets anyway. But the improvement on this one over the previous ones is previously the mechanism was from one lever on one side. What they've done with this one, they've put a cable operated system that actually does both sides at the same time. It's a lot, lot smoother feels a lot more premium so you can just flick it down like that and up like that. It clicks away and then you come down you've got first notch there and then you can go further down to the second notch. This is all done by a switch now that is down at the, on the base of the helmet near the trim. So this helmet has been designed not as an out and out sports helmet but more of a touring helmet. Um, one of the things AGV have done is move the styling away from like the, the Pista design which seemed to mimic a bit through some of the other models and it's now getting its own identity with this new front vent and top vents. So yeah, we're going 60 mile an hour here. It's relatively quiet. I mean, I'm talking at normal, I'm not shouting or anything. Volume seems fine, the noise level. One of the other features of the AGV K3 is it has eyewear fit cheap pads. So, if you have a look at the inside of the helmet here, you can see the cheek pad comes right up to the side, but if you actually feel the side part where it has the eyewear fit logo, this is actually softer. So there's a little bit less padding. The good thing about this is it keeps that gap there closed if you're not wearing eyewear to prevent anything like flies or debris going down the side when you're riding with the visor up. But then if you were to wear glasses, that little recess of the foam inside it's just going to stop it putting any pressure onto the side of the uh, the glasses arms and potentially pushing that into your head a little bit. Things, It's got um, a lot of ear room, so there's a lot of room around your ears. If you struggle with getting a helmet where there's room for your ears, you can get a bit of discomfort, then this might be the one to definitely have a look at. Another of the improvements that AGV have made is this is now a, has a customizable fit, so it has interchangeable cheek pads to get a, a better fit for the customer, whether they need to have, go for a slightly thinner cheek pad, which is down to 30 millimeters, standard cheek pad at 35, or go up to a larger cheek pad at 40 millimeters. These will be available soon. They're not in the UK at the moment, but they are coming very soon. It'd be a great touring helmet. And especially with all that extra air room that you have got, I think, the, if you were to put like a comms unit into it, there's plenty of room for the speakers to go in without it causing you any extra issues. One thing that AGV have done, and I think we're going to see this across the range, is they have dropped the medium small and medium large sizing. 
So they've now gone to this kind of the same system as the other manufacturers and they do extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Best thing to do though is come into the shop. Like I say, these will be customizable on the fit. Um, so if you come into the shop, try one on and we can always tweak it to make sure it is the perfect fit for you. So to get your hands on one of these, for a plain graphic model, uh, these are retailing at £209.99. If you go for a graphic model, they are £249.99. And if you go for one of the replicas, because some of these are available in the some of the Rossi designs, they are £269.99. So what was our overall opinion of this helmet after taking it out for a test ride? It's pretty lightweight. You know, it's not too heavy. Um, certainly way lighter than some of the modular helmets that people use for touring. Extremely versatile with that internal sun visor. Uh, plenty of ventilation. We, we were out riding in horrific conditions with snow. It was you know, minus degrees. So um, the pin lock and the visor, great vision, didn't miss up. Everything was working perfectly. That's me done. So, Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like, leave us a comment, and um, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, ride safe. It's a wee bit dodgy. It's not Richie V the dodgy, but it is a little bit dodgy.